In continuing coverage of the story around Senator Bernie Sanders, he is taking time off of the campaign trail after having a heart procedure for a blocked artery following chest discomfort at a campaign event that was earlier this week. The 78-year-old Democratic presidential candidate was treated at a Las Vegas hospital. Sanders took to Twitter yesterday saying that he was feeling good. He wrote, quote, uh, none of us know when a medical emergency might affect us and no one should fear going bankrupt if it occurs. Medicare for all. Dr. Jen Caudill is here this morning to talk all about the implications of this. Dr. Caudill, welcome back to the show. Always a pleasure to get your insights. We understand Senator Sanders is not your patient and you can't know his private medical history. But here's what we know. Senator Sanders reported experiencing chest discomfort and ultimately had a procedure which included having two stents put in. As a doctor, what does that tell you? Well, that tells me a number of things. Uh, first, heart disease is likely at play here. Uh, we know that heart disease is a very common thing in this country. It's actually the number one killer. And heart disease is usually the reason why we put stents in the heart to basically block, uh, excuse me, to open up arteries that may be narrowing or getting blocked, usually from plaques or things like that related to heart disease. So what is the recovery like for a procedure like this? Yeah, you know, interestingly enough, receiving heart stents, and again, these are stents, uh, presumably, again, I'm not his doctor, and I'm just sort of presuming about what, what happened, but presumably he received uh, stents to his coronary arteries. Those are arteries that surround the heart and feed oxygen-rich blood to the heart. Uh, the heart is a muscle, so it needs blood and oxygen, too. Um, if one of those uh, arteries gets blocked, then you can have problems, and that's oftentimes where we're putting the stents. Now, Two million of these procedures are typically done every year. It's relatively common and it's minimally invasive. Most people actually do rather well and they can kind of get back to action relatively soon after the procedure, uh, barring any particular complications. And the campaign wouldn't say if Senator Sanders had suffered a heart attack before. If he has had a heart attack, would that, what would that mean for his long-term health? Well, so this is the thing. I mean, it's really hard to know, as you mentioned, if he's had a heart attack before, et cetera, or his underlying uh, heart health. Um, all of those factors, though, would go into whether or not he would receive a stent, and all of those factors would determine what it means in the future. So, um, you know, not to be not to be circuitous, but but the truth is, we we really don't know. The hope, though, is that with the stent, he goes on to do very very well, and and that's really what we want in this situation. Uh, Sanders is the oldest candidate uh, in the 2020 Democratic field. He's five years older than President Trump. There have been plenty of presidents who took office in their 60s. Uh, is age just a number or is there a real <laughs> difference between 60s and 70s when it comes to potential health risks? Well, you know, as, as a family doctor and as a doctor, I, I, I always say, you know, people are not created equally. And yes, there are differences as we go throughout life. That's just a fact. It's sort of a fact of life, right? We're not the same when we're 40 as when we're 60 or 70 or 80. Uh, but, you know, as I also as a family physician, it's always been really important for me to, uh, to not be ageist. Um, one thing I know as a family doctor is I have patients who are 95 years old that are sharper uh, sometimes than I feel, uh, sharper than my patients who are half their age. Um, so, you know, in, 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 the, in the spirit of not being ageist and, un, and assuming that there are going to be problems or would be problems simply because of someone's age, you know, I say, look, uh, the proof is in the pudding. Let's see how things go. Let's see how he does uh, with any of the candidates, quite honestly. All right, Dr. Jen Caudill, as always, pleasure to get your insights. Thanks so much for breaking this down and your time. Thank you.